WTVA Sports with Andy Lee. It's soul-searching time at Mississippi State. The Bulldogs look to bounce back from Saturday's gut-wrenching loss against Florida. MSU hosts number 8 Auburn Saturday at 6.30. Today, Joe Moorhead said he had a productive meeting with his captains and leadership council on Sunday night. Joe Moorhead's offense is under scrutiny right now. In two SEC games, the Bulldogs have scored just 13 points while gaining only 403 total yards. MSU faces another salty SEC defense in Auburn. As far as tweaks to the offense, Moorhead says he plans to get the ball to the running backs more and incorporate quicker passes. Joe Mo is confident better results are on the horizon. I appreciate the heck out of our fans. Uh, I know that they love the Bulldogs, and uh, certainly they may not love what we're doing right now, particularly on the offensive side. But uh, I promise you it's going to get fixed. It's going to get better. And uh, the light at the end of the tunnel, it's an opening, not an oncoming train. So we're going to get there. It's also soul-searching time at Ole Miss. The Rebels fell to 3-2 and two following a 45-16 loss at LSU. Ole Miss hosts Louisiana Monroe Saturday at 3. Some injury news. Safety C.J. Moore is out at least two weeks with a torn peck. Walnuts Armani Linton moves from wide receiver to defensive back to help with the depth there. You might remember the Rebels were in a similar tailspin last season until a win at Kentucky helped propel Ole Miss to a strong finish. But Matt Luke says there's no magic formula to turning things around. And when you have a vision, you have to work till that vision comes to life. And I think you just got to go trying to keep better, keep getting better and getting better because there were some good things that happened on the tape and you have to take that and you have to learn from it and move forward. But I think uh, there is no magic formula. There is no quick fix. It's just hard work day in, day out and getting better. The polls are now open. Head over to WTVA.com to cast your vote for our Friday Night Fever Game of the Week. Your three choices for Week 8 are Houston at Hatley, Itawamba AHS at Shannon, and Pontotoc at Amory. The voting ends 4 p.m. Wednesday. Jim Holder announces the winner Wednesday at 6. With fall break coming up, we have a huge slate of Thursday night games. That includes Bruce at Baldwin, Choctaw County at Aberdeen, East Webster at Calhoun City, Kossuth at North Pontotoc, Lafayette County at Lewisburg, Oxford at DeSoto Central, Potts Camp at Biggersville, and TCPS at Okalona. All games scheduled for 7 o'clock starts. Basketball season is right around the corner. The Ole Miss men and women had media day this afternoon. The men then held their first official practice of the season. Former Baldwin High standout Connor McKay has walked on the team. The sharpshooter played at Northeast the last two seasons. Of course, both programs have new head coaches. Kermit Davis Jr. leads the men, while Yolette McPhee McEwen is in charge of the women. Both coaches hinted at what fans can expect from their respective clubs this season. What I hope our team looks like uh, is a team that has great toughness, um, a team that when people come watch, Ole Miss people come watch, they, they see a team that's very willing passers. The ball doesn't stick. One thing that you will see when our players play, they're going to play hard, they're going to be excited to be out there, and you, you'll see a great camaraderie amongst them. Major League Baseball Brewers beat the Cubs 3-1 to win the NL Central. The Dodgers down the Rockies 5-2 to win the NL West. L.A. faces Atlanta in the division series. That's sports. We're back after this.